Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new here. In today we're going to be going over one of the new features in Abyss, which is the reference window, and I'll be showing you how to use it. For those who don't know yet, the reference window is a pretty new feature and this allows you to have a little photo reference in the corner of your canvas that is on its own separate layer that isn't included in the layers menu. This way you can take colours from it and you can see what you're trying to draw better, you can stick poses in there or references for the character you're trying to draw, whatever you want to have in there that will help you more. To do this you don't have to go into any layer menus or anything, but you do have to go into settings, so let me show you how to do that. You can do it from the outside window, but you can also do it from here. So tap this little arrow right here and you will see the settings bar pop up. Just click on that and then in there you will see user interface reference window. Right here just turn that on and then as you can see there is a reference window right there that shows the whole canvas. It can show the whole canvas even if you are zoomed in, it will even show you how much you are zoomed in by. But if you want to have an image there instead of your canvas, then just click the image camera icon right here and it will take you into your gallery so you can choose an image. Then once you've chosen your image, as you can see it shows up right there. You can even move it around in this window. It is super handy. You can just drag this top bar over here to move it to wherever you want to have it in your canvas. You can also change the size of it by dragging, which is super duper useful. So you can make your reference image smaller or bigger. You can also switch it back into canvas mode to see your whole canvas and then switch it again like that to switch it back into reference mode. Then right here you can add another reference, so you can have several references on here or you can remove it. You can also, as you can see right here, eye drop from the reference window, which I think is a great feature because that way you can get the exact colours. Then if you don't want your reference there anymore, you can just click this X and it will be gone. That will automatically turn it off in your settings though, so you'll have to go back in and click it again. The other way to do this is to go back into your main menu. So go right here to your main menu and from here you can also go into settings and turn on the reference window from here. Obviously it is more convenient to do so in your canvas menu but you can do it from here too. So again to get that you would go into settings from here, click the reference window, you will hear a little click usually, and then you'll have a reference window in there which you can change the images for. You can click remove reference, add reference, you can have as many references as you want, I think. And you can change the position and eye drop from them. This is one of my favourite features so far, I'm really really enjoying using it, and it's mega helpful. Thank you very much for watching, I hope that you all enjoyed, and if you did, maybe consider supporting. Bye!